Hey everybody, Chris here, and today I am going to show you everything you need to know about the ruler tool in Tinkercad. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention, I've done another video where I use everything in this video and others to create a full project from concept to 3D print in just under 30 minutes. So after you're done here, head over to watch that video so you can see how you can combine all of these tools to create your 3D models in Tinkercad. So in this video, I am going to show you how to use the ruler tool. So let's go ahead and drag a box in the middle of our space here. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And now let's click on the ruler tool. And if you come over to your plane, you can see the ruler tool. And you click anywhere you want to be able to set it. Now when the ruler tool is active, any selected shape will show all of their values. So I can see that this is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And if I decide to scale it, it will show me what all of those are. So if I want to move it around, make it smaller, I can now see that this is 41 by 46 by 11. So you can also just click in here and let's say I want to make this one 40. You can hit tab. And you can tab through all of these numbers. So say if I want to make this 35, and then I want my height to be, let's say, 10. Then I can just hit Enter, and there we go. So I've automatically just changed everything without having to click on each node for them to pop up when the ruler tool isn't there. So when it comes to the ruler tool, you'll see a little X here on the corner, and that is to dismiss the ruler, which, if you click it, the ruler goes away. But we can just drag it back in and I can set it right there. And then you have these three little lines and this is a toggle. You can either use the end point or you can use the midpoint. So the end point is right to the edge of your object. And the midpoint, if we click there, is what it was on, is the middle of your object. So this is right in the dead center of my object. So that is what the measurements are actually off of. And you can see that with the green bars. So that will tell you the distance. So if I wanted to do zero, it would move the middle of this right there on that line. I could also click on the end point. Then if I wanted to type in zero, so you can see when we hit zero, it's right there on the edge of the ruler. And if I hit zero here, same thing, right on the edge. So you'll also see over here on the right side, there's just a number over here. Now, this is actually the distance from the work plane. So if I said 20, that would now be 20 millimeters off of the work plane. And you can also click and just type in whatever you want, say 10. Or if I want it back down, I could hit zero, and there we go. So once we dismiss the ruler tool, we can bring it back in. And you see the red dot. The nice thing is, is you can actually have this snap onto the corners of your objects. So if I let go right there, now it's off the corner. And the great thing is, is if I want to drop this object in, and I wanted this to be aligned perfectly, I can see it's at 0, 0. And this one is also. And this is really useful if you wanted to visually see the distance from your shapes. So say if I wanted to have this 10 millimeters away from it, right there is 10 millimeters perfectly. So using this to be able to see distance from other objects is a great tool. So if I drop this down and I'm going to scale this down a little more and I want this to be 10 and I can see that it's 10 and if I copied and pasted this so if I copy it and paste it when I move this away it's showing me the distance so I know this is 10 and this is 15 so if I move this away more now I have it at 20 and then if I wanted to make a pattern let's say if I wanted to copy both of these and then paste them I could move them over and then I could get an exact distance. Now all of these are 10 millimeters away. Or I could just click in here in my mouse and let's say 15 millimeters. So now I have a 5 millimeter gap. And I could do it here as well. 
so let's say 15. So now they're perfectly spaced. So using the ruler tool is a fantastic tool to use when you're trying to align things a certain distance from each other. And one last thing, if you have the ruler tool down and it's in a position you don't want it in, you can just click on this little circle, it'll turn red, then you can move it around. So say if I want it on this opposite corner, right there. And then it'll show me what the measurements are from that point. Just realize that this is an x and y coordinate where this is zero. So these are all positives, and when I move it across another plane, one of them will go negative. So I have negative 57, and then it's 21 positive. Down here, both of them are negative. So just keep that in mind, and if you don't want that, you can always just move it down. And once again, to get rid of it, you just hit dismiss, and that's it. So the next time you're working on a project and you need to space things out a certain way, definitely consider using the ruler tool. It is really easy and handy. So that's everything you need to know about the ruler tool in Tinkercad. Now be sure to head over and watch the full project video so you can see how this tool and all of the others work together in Tinkercad. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in this video right here.